We're in Bayona, in the south of Galicia. On all the terraces, on all the menus, it's seafood and shellfish that are the most popular. And there's a new product here that's making the news. It's called 27 Peseberos. Me llamo Isabel y soy percevera. Es una profesión que no tienes que estudiar, eh, solo tienes que aprender en el día a día a ver el mar, el tiempo, el clima, las corrientes. She inherited her profession. Her parents and grandparents walked over the same rocks before her in search of the same prize. The goose barnacle, a shellfish which only grows in a very few places, washed by the waves of the Atlantic Ocean. Isabel wouldn't exchange this exceptional environment for anywhere else in the world. The mar, for me, I think that for any percevero, is our life. You live with it, but it's like a union. You have to know it, you have to learn it. a respetarlo y a convivir con él. Eh, como te confíes mucho, te la puede jugar. Y como le tengas demasiado miedo, no te deja vivir. By tradition, goose barnacles have always been sold fresh in the market, where prices can vary a lot, according to demand, and above all, the quality of the product. Este es un percebe de una calidad baja porque la marea hoy es muy cortita y no da para llegar al percebe de, de buena calidad, de gran calibre. While some goose barnacles can sell for a very high price at auction, others that are smaller or full of water are without any real value. But they must still be gathered to stop them colonizing the habitat of the barnacles that are in higher demand. Entonces, hemos empezado a ver y pensar qué podíamos hacer para rentabilizar un percebe eh, que comer en fresco no, no nos era rentable. Y ahí empezamos a hacer pruebas para enlatar, eh, para patés. On the basis of this idea, the Mar de Sierro Collective was formed by 27 barnacle pickers, with the aim of transforming these small, low-value barnacles into different gastronomic products barnacle pate with seaweed and natural canned barnacles. To create their company, each member contributed an initial capital sum, to which was added the support of the fisheries local action group. Eleanor is the flag manager. El principal impacto positivo que puede tener consideramos que es que podamos reunirnos los ayuntamientos, las organizaciones de pescadores, el sector social, el sector medioambiental, la mesa de la mujer, proyectos que interesen a toda la sociedad. Hola. It's Susana, Isabel's sister, also a pesebera, who looks after the administrative side of Mar de Sierro. After receiving practical help from the flag, this project has not only diversified the activity of the 27 members of the collective, but it has also led to the creation of many new jobs across the different stages of the production, promotion and sale of these new products. Para Mar de Sillero ha sido muy importante poder contar con la ayuda del FLAG y también con, con los fondos del Eje 4 para poner en funcionamiento la empresa y cubrir necesidades que íbamos a tener en nuestra empresa. The success of the barnacle pate and canned barnacles is growing in Galicia, but they're also being shipped to the rest of Spain and even outside the country. This brilliant idea has quite simply opened up new opportunities for the professionals in the sector. Este proyecto a nivel personal me ha aportado la satisfacción de saber que estás haciendo algo eh, productivo, que te estás preocupando de, de un trabajo tradicional como es el, 
la captura, la extracción del percebe y con una visión de futuro.